and we nicknamed it micro mining. In fact, okay. we tried like the mining. Yeah, yeah we, smart. we did micro mining. We're mining microbes. You don't you're looking for small things. They are a natural resource. These yeah. are all the place. So. Welcome to the Bourbon Friday Show. I'm your host, Nick Niehaus, and I'm talking to Charlie Walsh, who is the CEO and founder of Pluton Biosciences. We're going to talk a little bit about how they're going to get rid of mosquitoes, potentially. That's pretty exciting. So, Charlie, thanks for joining us. That's, Appreciate it. That's where we want to start. Yeah, we'll start it's there, help, of course. It's helping get rid of their... Um, Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, very excited to be on your show. Well, I want to let's let's yeah. Thanks for joining us. And we want to talk about um, obviously Pluton does more than just this mosquito thing, but that yes. sounds like that's kind of the big first big claim to fame. So maybe can we talk about that and kind of what you guys do in general? Yeah. So in general, we do science experiments. Okay. All right. I like that. Um, to narrow it down, we do science experiments looking for good bugs in soil. Okay. And I'll get into the sciencey side of that. Interesting. Um, but when you're going to start a research science company, you have yeah. to prove you can do something first. Okay. So our proof of concept, and really the company started when our chief scientist and other co-founder Barry Goldman approached me about a business idea he okay. had, and I listened to it, liked what I heard, and I said, "So Barry, we need something to do. What's our what's our first act?" And he said. Okay. He said, give me a hundred diverse soil samples. They can come out of all our backyards and hmm. I'll find you new bugs to kill. He said, mathematically, I know I will find you new bacteria to kill wow. mosquitoes. Really? So just a hundred random, we're not even talking yeah, about any special not even location. Random. Or... Yeah, that just. Okay. <laughs> so the math behind it, and I was, this is for all of you out there, I'm really sorry about this, but the math behind it, you have to think about 10 to the power of. Sure. So it, that just means how many zeros are behind your one. Uh -huh. So in a hundred soil samples, there's about 10 to the eight, between 10 to the eight and 10 to the 10 of organisms. So wow. hundreds of billions to trillions to a trillion plus organisms. That's crazy. In a okay. hundred, you know, hold them in your hand. Um, so, out of that diversity, that's where Barry and our, our other two scientists, Ann Gugesberg and Diana Beckman, created a selection hypothesis to find bacteria they thought would be useful. And then they got that down to hmm. a smaller population okay. into the thou tens of thousands. Yeah. And then we tested those against mosquitoes for to see if they killed the larvae. Really? Okay. And then you just, then with the genetic computational, you can just go down and I, I can't use the word just sure. because the scientists make it look a lot easier than it is. Of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's incredible data crunching and yeah, things we, we don't need to get yeah, into the yeah. full details, of course. But yeah, the but. bottom line is, is that the way we're doing it, um, which oh, we call targeted assay-based microbial discovery, and we nicknamed it micro mining. In fact, okay. we trade, I like the mining thing. Yeah, we, we did micro mining. We're mining microbes. You don't you're looking for small things. They are a natural resource. These yeah. are all the place. So very cool. Okay. So mosquitoes. We're working currently to uh, with a fermenter to formulate, find the best way to formulate, and see if we can grow our bugs industrially. Wow. Because right now there's only one biopesticide, there's only one bug on the market doing biopesticide work against mosquitoes. And really? Okay. Naturally, that can be a little, you remember the AIDS cocktail in the early 90s? Sure, yeah. So I'm dating myself here, I'm in my 50s, but <laughs> you know, AIDS looked like it was not going to get solved. I of mean, course, it looked yeah. bad. And then you started hearing about this AIDS cocktail. Well, what that was was multiple different approaches to knock on to attack the virus. Sure. Different chemicals. And that's how in that case nature hasn't seen it and it's much harder. So one of our ideas was to get our when you have a solo a solo active out there, uh -huh. a lot easier for resistance to show up which means, which is what's happening in addition to the cancer issue with Roundup. It's one of the big problems with Roundup right now. They're gotcha. spreading so much Roundup because 
the herbs are, you know, the weeds are getting They're resistant, getting resistant to, to it. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. You know, it's nature. <laughs> well, I mean, of course, it's going to adapt, right? So yeah. whatever you're going to throw nature. at it, eventually you'll get yeah. used to, right? Well, it sounds like this is a huge opportunity then because if there's that many different kinds of microbes in these samples, I imagine you could do all kinds of stuff with them, right? That is correct. Um, and that's where, that's where um, Glenn Schuster, one of our original main, one of our, our first decent size investor, yeah. and he and I are now the two largest investors in the company. Um, Glenn's a former CTO of Centene, and it was just okay. that data, the sheer diversity and our science team's vision on, especially Barry and Kirk's vision on how to catalog our discoveries and characterize it back to where everything came from, which, mm -hmm. so everything lives in an ecosystem. Sure. I'm giving us all science 101, and yeah. if I do it wrong, scientists, I'm trying. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fair enough, good disclaimer, you know? <laughs> The scientists are picky people. I'm sure, yeah. Well, very, we don't very, hold you to the same standard precise. here. Yeah. <laughs> very precise. So you have everything lives in an ecosystem. Sure. There's about a trillion species of microbes in the world, wow. and we just figured out that biodiversity existed really around the same time we did the human genome. Really, when we started getting the ability to sequence, we were like, oh my God, those are yeah. not the same. Wow. They're different species. Um, so when you hear people talking about the microbiome, mm -hmm. that's not right. It's, it's everything, microbes are everywhere and everything has a microbiome. It's an gotcha. ecosystem. So your gut microbiome is different from the soil microbiome, which is different than the water and the air and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. So what Barry, and our team are doing is taking all of our research data each time we do a discovery mm -hmm. and mapping it back to what types of soil, what types of conditions, what types of organisms. And so we're, if you think of George Surratt, the old French painter who did the little dot painting. Sure, yeah. We're kind of doing a pointillist painting. Hmm, each time we're adding another dot in, but we're doing it through a big data play Gotcha. And we eventually think um, somewhere, we think we can, you think when we do this 20 to 30 times against 20 to 30 different types of targets, mm -hmm. which is anything pretty much, a lot of, pretty much any you can imagine, um, we will start having a very interesting database that mm -hmm. can be taught with AI to start doing some virtual research, oh, and teasing out the biostatistics behind microbi microbiome research is staggeringly sophisticated. Oh, I bet, and, yeah. But with the power we have in the computation, it's doable now. Wow. So, so is this ultimately about you know you're trying to kind of map where the right kinds of microbes come from, or what? What are you going to kind of glean from this? The mapping is part of it. Um, the much more tangible results is to the mapping is an intentional byproduct okay okay the science itself that we do in the lab is pure basic research to find new knowledge but whereas academic knowledge is found for the sake of knowledge which sure. is great totally great oh yeah i love to learn this is we're doing it with the commercial target at the end sure so you know, if you want to find something that eat pla you know, eats plastic more efficiently, mm. or 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 helps the helps clean up oil spills, or scrubs factory, <laughs> or kills mosquitoes, or sure. takes care of our next four targets that we've got lined up, which are a bunch of pe ag pest targets. Okay. Um, each time you find that community of microbes. Mm -hmm you are sussing out the unique chemical pathways that they have evolved to use to survive. Gotcha, okay. So some of our bugs we know lay dor can lay dormant in soil for years. Really, okay. And then they get activated as this food sources. So they're very, 
I mean, they're everywhere and they they are really nature's master inventors and the world's great. I mean, they're, they're chemistry. Sure. <laughs> Gene editing, CRISPR, yep. would you hear about that? That was basic knowledge that got sus that got learned from bacteria. Oh, really? Okay. Bacteria are the ones that were sure. doing the they're, gene They're the flipping. ones inventing the they stuff. They were doing yeah. the gene snipping and the humans were like, wow, look at what this bug's doing. Interesting. <laughs> well, it sounds, yeah, I mean, so. So, so we think it's a, we think, you know, if the 20th century was about germ, you know, avoiding bad germs, uh -huh. we think the 21st century is going to have a lot of getting good bugs into our life and helping us make a sustainable wow. planet. Very we think it's a key part of the sustainability oh, I, I puzzle. I imagine it'd be a huge addition to that. Yeah. yeah. Well, so uh, so obviously a lot of what you're talking about here initially is agriculture, right? Yes, I think that's, that's, you have to pick some place to start. So we're sure. starting with ag and vector control, which is human born. Sure. Human okay. born, you know, uh, insect born disease, human diseases. Gotcha. But hence the mosquitoes, yep, hence right? Hence the mosquitoes, yeah. yeah. Um, so what, what are, I mean, it sounds like this is applicable in all kinds of industries. I mean, are, maybe it's a better question to ask, is there anywhere that you guys couldn't contribute or? So we see us having the ability so first of all <laughs> this is gonna sound really stupid everybody <laughs> but you gotta stop thinking like you're a human okay and, and and if you're going to be exploring the microbial world fun fact half your body weight give or take is bugs hmm. um, the other half is your cells um, if you're going to be delving into the microbial community yeah. and living in their world, which is what we're doing and finding out what they can do, you got to, they don't care about our verticals. Sure, that's <laughs> so, true. <laughs> so, they're everywhere, right? I mean, they're <laughs> so, yeah, they're everywhere. They're just looking for food. Sure. So the ones we know that we started with Ag and Vector because Barry and Kurt, we have some Monsanto veterans. Uh -huh. Um, and we have some WashU folks. And so we had some knowledge base there because your scientists still need to design the experiments. Sure. Um, which is, there's, a, there's an art component to this. Okay. So those, so those um, are good places for us to start because we knew we could line up a group of targets and, and go after them pretty quickly. Okay. But yeah, you can use it for environmental restoration. You can use it for waste management. You can use it for health and beauty products. Um, L'Oreal, I think, just is hmm. investing a lot in getting bacteria back into their cosmetics. Oh, interesting, okay. Um, you can use it, it's, in pharma, all of our antibiotics came from the front end type of research we're picking back up and doing. Gotcha. Um, but again, if you use the same thing over and over again, you know, when you were a kid, you may have been given a Z pack at some point, mm -hmm. you notice you're not getting a Z pack yeah. anymore. No, they're not That's, working, huh? Well, no, because now they're so freaking afraid of over prescribing them. Sure. That they only use them for the big guns. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> and so you have this weird market dynamics in pharma where nobody can make money doing the antibiotics because the docs won't use them, but the docs wow. won't use them because the antibiotics don't have a cocktail. Yeah. They just have a single active, active and the bugs are really good at mutating, you know. Again, it's math. If you wipe out a thousand bugs and there's a thousand and one there and the one guy that, you know, the two people sure. that live and can reproduce, we give them a it's thousand making them and stronger, two, right? Yeah. They've mutated and now they're the new community. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> How evolution works. So we need new tools. Yeah, that's a, that's a big opportunity. Well, so uh, tell me a little bit about um, the future of the company. You guys are obviously starting to, to grow here. You got the proof of concept out of the way. What's uh, what's next? Well, now we're in the um, we're in the we're in the wilderness right now. Okay. Um, we're <laughs> fundraising. Ah, oh, well, there you go. So um, that's a lot of work. I came out of, I came out of, started my first, I started a one hour courier service when okay. I was 23. So all my prior businesses were started with 
bank financing secured by my receivables, trucks, whatever. Gotcha. And my own mine and my partner's personal capital. This, because we're doing basic research and then licensing to producers, because that's our business model. So uh-huh. we're kind of the songwriters and those guys sure. play the songs and we, if we get a hit and it becomes a product, we get a royalty stream. Okay. And we patent after our discovery. It's a lot of upfront cost. Yeah, so, yeah. well, the, the bigger thing is, and that was another reason to go for Vector and Ag, because bio solutions there tend to go much quicker to market than a pharma okay. you could be waiting eight, 10, 12 years. Oh, wow, okay. And you could make a ton at the end, but. If it all works out, yeah, it's a long, long ag, time to wait. you could get yeah. out in two to, two to four years. Okay, gotcha. So for us, it's really, so right now we just finished. So we did our friends and family and the company has been has been funded by, by myself. You know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a large funder in it. So sure. we just finished a crowdfunding run oh, round with really? Invested. Oh, cool. Um, okay. N-V-S-T-E-D with us. Yeah. Um, Invested is the local crowdfunding portal for St. Louis businesses. Uh-huh. And we are their second successful raise. It closes next week, June the seventh. Still awesome. time. Investments yeah, get between on there. one and twenty five thousand dollars. There's we've raised seventy eight of our one fifty and I got about fifteen folks that say they'll go in. So yeah. if you're listening. Get there you on go. The get on the get on the platform, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but um and from there I'm working with some I'm working with some more seasoned um, entrepreneurs, okay. uh, one especially out in Seattle, who is he and I are crafting the package. We're getting our lead list together, and then we'll do a, we'll run a process. We'll do a road, you know. I'll do a road show with mm. uh, with some of my scientists, and we'll we'll get the decks out there, and we'll look to raise a million bucks, gotcha. which will then get everyone out of their day jobs, and go f- we will be going go to find you know white fly, you know how to how to eliminate white flies in the fall arm. Gotcha. Problem in corn. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, that's awesome. So, so. Uh, final question, then we're going to talk to Eric, bring him on the show in sure. a second here. Um, if somebody's looking to learn more uh, about you guys, maybe they're looking to, you know, obviously contribute and go and invest it. Mm-hmm. Um, but is there a good website or social media platform to check out? I would start at either our LinkedIn profile. Okay. Which is, um, which just type in Pluton Biosciences and it'll come up. Um, or our website's full. Our, our website has all the links to, to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. It also has a nice, also has a nice um, banner at the top that takes you right to the invested portal. Perfect. Um, so really, uh, plutonbio.com. P-L-U-T-O-N-B-I-O. Pluton is yeah. the Roman god of the underworld. So oh, okay. That's the name. Interesting. Of the, yeah, I didn't know that. So since we're digging around in the soil. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Cool. Some well, people we got, ask if we're from Pluto. Pluto. Yeah, well, I mean, I you know, it's, this is the first thing that came to my head, but that's, I know, that's I better. Know. To, I like that one. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we're going to welcome Eric onto the show now. He's got a couple minutes left. Eric is the founder of Bourbon Friday, sure. and he's going to tell us about what we're drinking. So what we got today? Yeah. So today we have my- Four Roses, uh, single barrel, uh, the, the barrel strength. Barrel, oh, no, yeah. there we go. Back and, to the strong stuff. And I thought since, you know, we're talking about microbes today. Uh-huh. Well, without microbes, we don't have fermentation. We Then <laughs> we don't have distillation and we don't ever get we to whiskey. We don't have any bourbon, yeah. Right? And Four Roses is kind of unique, or they're doing a unique thing, is they actually make um, 10 different bourbons uh, across the board. This is actually, their cast strength is actually just one of those. Okay. Uh, but they release them in, in uh, various uh, releases. Like this is OESK. So that just means um, the E, the, the second letter is the mash bill, and the okay. last letter is the yeast strain. So they use five different yeast strains to come up with 10 oh, different, bur- and two mash bills to come up with 10 different bourbons, hmm. which then if you're familiar, like the lower, lower end product is the yellow label, they're they're uh, mixing all of those. Uh, oh. This is uh, OESK. It's sort of a spicy, fruity, full-bodied uh, bourbon, and so a lot of that flavor is just coming from the yeast. So, hmm. um, yeah, 
a couple weeks ago we had TX bourbon. Weirdly, they use a yeast that comes from a Texas pecan. Oh really? Yeah. So very cool. Microbes super important. Yeah. Well, and I mean, without without bourbon, no bourbon Friday. I know. Thank you, microbes. For Thank you, microbes. <laughs> Thank you, Mike Cribs, a lot tonight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we do have a few other events. Yes, Blues playing in the Stanley Cup Finals. <laughs> three of those coming up between now and the next Bourbon Friday. So hopefully they'll be Stanley yes. Cup champions by the time we meet again. I don't okay. know. We'll see, right? I'm oh, so. I, I, My wife will even admit that I called that we were going to that we were going to win out against the Sharks yeah. after the hand pass. So okay. I feel good. So yeah. hopefully my jujitsu. Well, I think after last game, we're all feeling feeling pretty yeah. good now. Coming home, <laughs> all tied up. I love it. And so I know you're a big fan. You've been a fan since... Been a fan since, uh, since 1972. So oh, wow. So you, Gary Younger <laughs> was my first <laughs> yeah. sports hero. <laughs> yeah, so you're, you've been waiting for a while. So I've I been waiting for a long this is, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> a here. really so long nice time. Tomorrow. Cool. Well, Eric, thank you as always. Charlie, appreciate you joining us today. Really appreciate yeah, the conversation. No, thank, thank you. It was great. Yeah, awesome. good. Well, uh, to wrap things up, you know, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, we are here at Kovo, so I'd like to thank Kovo for hosting us every single week. Uh, thank you to EQ for streaming our show through your Facebook page. That definitely helps us out. And, of course, thank you to Vanessa Lobo, who's my business partner at Connect Marketing, who always makes us look great in front of the camera while she does almost all the work behind the camera. So we definitely appreciate that. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And, as always, please join us again next Friday at 4.30 for the Bourbon Friday Show. Hey, thanks for watching. We truly hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this episode, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. To stay up to date, follow us on social. We are at Bourbon Fridays on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. See you next time.